In my last video I mentioned the endgame of synthetic, which is the looping territory. A place where the difficulty of the game gets increased drastically and most strategies from before aren't viable anymore. In this video I want to showcase how to beat loop easily. But before we'll get into it, first a disclaimer. The method I'm going to show you works with the ultimate update, which, as of the date of this recording, is the latest patch in synthetic. I'm mentioning this because this strategy might get patched out in the future. I'm putting the word strategy in quotation marks deliberately here because it's more of an exploit than anything and from what I've seen on this synthetic subreddit this isn't intended by the devs. So you should definitely try it before it gets patched out. The ultimate update brought synergy items into the game. They are found in these kinds of shops. Shaker is such an item and it increases the charge amount of all consumables in your inventory. These include, but are not limited to, Android Core Upgrade and Hard Core. Your goal is to get Shaker and Android Core Upgrade in the same run. Normally the Core Upgrade, which grants you a choice of boosting one main stat permanently, would be destroyed after using it twice. You can bypass this restriction by dropping the Android Core Upgrade or any other item that has limited uses like Hardcore after each use. By doing this you can get stat upgrades infinitely. To make this work you're basically at the courtesy of RNG since neither Shaker nor Android Core Upgrade are guaranteed to show up in your run. As a last side note, Well Oiled increases the speed at which you gain upgrades by a lot. Next up let's talk about actual choices you can make to improve your performance in loop starting with a suitable class. As you might know, once you start looping, the game is throwing a lot of enemies your way. Demolisher is designed to deal large amounts of AoE damage. You can do it from a relatively safe distance too. Use HE Grenade, which you hopefully took as a guaranteed drop in the main menu, to lure in large amounts of enemies. Then resonate the explosion to acquire multiple ultra kill chains. Just make sure not to get spotted by other enemies. The next big reason why Demolisher is so good at looping is the specialist bonus he gets on weapons with explosive or launcher components. After your demo hits level 25, Certain weapons get doubled stat upgrades, which lets them scale insanely well into the late game. This brings me to the last part of this video, suitable weapons of mass destruction. This choice, of course, is heavily influenced by personal preference and I can't possibly go over all weapons with great potential, so I'm just going to go over a couple of good choices as Demolisher. The ML7000 Plus is a rocket launcher with a relatively high magazine size. Its damage early on is okay enough, but will get very big eventually, as is the nature of all specialist weapons as Demolisher. You can either guide your rockets manually with your mouse cursor or use homing rockets, which travel a little slower but are, in my opinion, much easier to use. I mentioned the high speed particle cannon in another video already. This weapon has a really good passive that simply reduces dash cooldown. Dashing is imperative for survival and this passive synergizes really well with the unceasing module. Its projectiles on the other hand are harder to use than the homing missiles so it takes a little bit of practice. When running Demolisher I pretty much always upvote these two weapons to increase their chance of appearing. Getting your hands on these next two guns is once again dependent on RNG since they are legendary tier and thus their appearance in your runs isn't guaranteed. The Mjolnir Chain Lightning Gun is in my opinion the strongest gun in the game or rather the safest to use in loop. It can be used behind walls, shot while running and always clears big groups of enemies with one mouse click. There are some downsides however. Shooting this gun consumes your entire shield this can be held in check with unceasing though. Good heat and ammo management are also needed to not lose control over this beast. 
Similar results in terms of damage can be reached with Ion Obliterator. However, this weapon is much harder to handle in my opinion. It actually requires peeking corners and better heat management. Once again, I don't really have a closer for this one. If you watched this far, maybe consider commenting on this video. Any feedback or suggestions are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and good luck in looping.